You know, this world was made for you and me. It don't belong to me alone. It don't belong to you. It belongs to everybody. Perhaps the best way to describe the genius of Les Blank is to say that he makes folk songs for the eyes. Folk songs that move. Folk songs that are movies. When I woke up in the morning, couldn't see the dog on in a career spanning six decades, the documentary filmmaker has created a crucial archive of America's great traditional masters, including Lightnin Hopkins, Dewey Balfa, Lydia Mendoza, Tommy Gerald, Mance Lipscomb, Buzu Chavez, Flaco Jimenez, D.L. Menard, Clifton Chenier, and Francisco Aguabea. Good evening, we thank you very much for being with us this evening. Obviously this music means a great deal to a lot of us. This weekend, we are honoring one of these great percussionists who made it possible for this music to continue. So, without further ado, would you welcome, along with his friends, Francisco Acorella. His films reveal what no folkloric study or field recording can. Not just how this music sounds, but how it lives. How it's embedded into the lives of the people who create it, as essential to them as the food they eat, the air they breathe, and the people they love. I was asking Mario Bowser, that I was going to make this record in California. Who could I use out here? He said, Francisco, that's who you should use because the guy, you don't have to explain nothing to him because the, the guy knows he, he grew up in this music. For Blank, it all began with Pinocchio. As a child, he was transported by the Disney classic. Later, he discovered the sophisticated films of De Sica, Fellini, and Bergman. But just as with the puppet Pinocchio, he found that the more human the movies became, the more magical they were. Well, the old folks used to put them in there to keep the spider webs out of them. When they hung them up on the wall before they had in the fiddle cases, spiders would web in there, and they'd dan in there, and them snake rattlers would keep them cut out, you know. Some folks claimed, you know, it had made the fiddle sound better. It, you know, the snake would be a charm in the fiddle, you know. See, the fiddle's called the devil's instrument anyhow. So I've been told. But I never did believe that. Corn whiskey and pretty women, they've been my downfall. Beat me and bang me, but I love them for all. At L.A.'s Ashgrove Coffee House, he was again transported, this time by folk music. He could feel real lives pulsing beneath the tunes, and he wanted to know them. The twin engines of his passion had formed. His film style, like a good folk song, grew in the singing. All he knew at first was that he wanted to strip away the filters, cut as close to the bone as he could, to show folk music as it really existed in everyday life. His best teachers were his subjects. After one day of filming on his first folk documentary, Texas bluesman Lightnin Hopkins ordered Blank to leave. Packing up his gear, certain he'd failed, he saw Hopkins playing cards, asked to sit in, and promptly lost $60. This made Hopkins a little friendlier, and he invited Blank back, but just for cards. Blank lost another 60 bucks and was clearly wary about returning, so Lightnin said, you can bring that old camera if you want. The film was completed, and when it upstaged Jean-Luc Godard's latest work at an L.A. screening, Blank's career was made. Now, I'll tell you about the blues, darling. The blues dwell with you every day and everywhere. See, you can have the blues about that you broke. You can have the blues about your girl is gone. The blues come so many different ways. 
until it's kind of uh, hard to explain. But once and ever that you get a sad feeling, you can tell the whole round world you got nothing but the blues. He learned two lessons from that. First was to be as little nuisance as possible. The second was to become as much a part of the life he was filming as possible. He gained trust by doing morning chores with Mance Lipscomb and passing a midnight jug with Tommy Gerald, cooking dinner, dancing with the crowds, playing with the kids, to be less a voyeur and more a neighbor. His subjects rewarded him by being themselves. People call you the Cajun Hank Williams, and we know that you really idolize him. When did you meet him first? 1951. That was at the old Tesh Club in New and they had a Russian. And the drifting cowboys went into Russian. They started the board, they ate, I believe they ate sandwich or something, hamburger or something. And uh, Hank, he didn't eat him. He went on the side of a table and just stood there and crossed his arm, and naturally I was. <laughs> I was watching him like a hog. Well, the first question I asked him, how long it took him to write a song? That, that was my very first question. He told me it take, if it took more than a half an hour, that means he couldn't write it. Well, I found it, oh, Lord, that was, I could just couldn't believe it. He could write a song that quick. The musicians opened up as if Blank's camera was part of the family. <laughs> Work like hell to make some money, and we spend, spend it all having a good time. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's Cajun, boy. What do you do to have a good time? Dance with the little pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's better than a bowl of gumbo. Well, two bowls. Not all Blank's films are about folk music. He's filmed organic tea farmers and tour busing tourists. German director Werner Herzog. I'm quite convinced that cooking is the only al alternative to filmmaking. Gap-toothed women and the glories of garlic. <laughs> but always he applies the great lessons the folk songs taught him that there is art and beauty in our lives as we really live them. Always his camera seeks out the rhapsody of real life, the majesty of the everyday moment. Asked what connects all his films, Blank refuses to answer, but he's not being coy or cranky. He admits he does see a connection, but to answer would put a filter between you and his films, and Les Blank hates filters. He doesn't want his vision blurring yours. Like the greatest folk songs, his movies show you life. The rest is up to you. You have a thousand or two acres of land belong to one man. Well, somebody else ought to have some of that land. Somebody needs a little, little share in there too. Well, we got to share this thing. Combine with one another. You know what I'm looking to see happen? I'm looking to see that uh, the young race of people gonna come combine with one another, black and white. If you got a little, me and you is together. If you got a heap, well, we're together. We're gonna be one, one nation of people. All in my dreams, hear yeah, my doorbell. Up in the morning, couldn't see you.